Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's press conference. Coach Westphalen, what's your thought on the game, please? Uh, first of all, congrats to Antwerp on the win. Uh, my thoughts on the game, I think uh, for 40 minutes, sorry, for 45, I'm very proud of my team. We come here in Antwerp that has a full squad. We play here with eight guys. Uh, I think everybody see, sees the injured players. We come here, we force an overtime. Um, I think uh, we uh, make a couple more good decisions in the fourth quarter. I think we even win the game. But OK, that's basketball. It comes down to, to decisions. Um, my guys fought for it. They went hard. Um, I think in the overtime, we ran out of gas. Um, I had two guys of that eight that fouled out, uh, Cliff Hammonds and, and Miles Kale, who are important to this team, especially if you're a small group like that. Um, and we ran out of gas. So uh, what do you want me to say? I'm, uh, um, I'm proud of the eight guys that fought here. Um, I'm proud of the guys, uh, the way they fought the last three months with all the injuries that we had. Um, we never gave up. We never made big changes. We stuck with our guys. We believed in our young guys, and uh, we kept pushing them. And this is the result. We um, we are able to come to Antwerp for some overtime with this group, and uh, I'm proud of them. Yes. Thank you, Coach Kelly. Congratulations. What's your thought on the game, please? Uh, congratulations to both teams. I think that it was a very interesting game. Equal. Uh, also, I think that the um, uh, game was very, very equal. We took a lead in the third quarter. And in a moment when I thought that we will make advantage bigger, the uh, team of Lindbergh came back. And then even at the end of the regular time, we had some opportunities to finish. Unfortunately, we didn't make smart decisions. Like same thing like in Austin, a little bit we had a fouls and we we didn't use these fouls on a smart way, and in overtime uh, I think that we were better team. Thank you, coach. Gentlemen, do you have any questions? Coach Ray, uh, Maxim did a warm up, but he didn't play. He said to me it was a little bit not to step in too early uh, after. A I think Max uh, Max had an injury after the first FIBA window and. Uh, he came back and uh, he gave us a big spark uh, to make it to the elite gold. Um, he had a small knee trouble, but he will be fine. But I told him too, like, don't take any risk. Don't take any risk because the second round will be important and uh, we will be a full team in the second round. So uh, I'm looking forward to that one. You're going to recuperate every player? Every player will be yes, we will. Right. Yes. The first time since November. Any more questions? Because uh, scaling, I think for Antwerp it's always also a good uh, momentum to have a little break now because you have a full squad, but you have also a little injuries, I think. Uh, yeah, we had a we had a one guy yesterday on MRI, so we uh, we were su suspicious about serious injury. Fortunately. Uh, was seems that everything is okay, although we have to go for the next checkups. Uh, I think that w this break will, will, will be very good for us, very useful because we have also, we are running also out of the gas. Uh, I think that in a 44 days, this is uh, our game number 12. So we played, I think, every three, day, th uh, three days and a half, we had a game. And it's visible that our players like a Spencer, uh, that they are tired a little bit uh, and that they don't have a freshness like they had before. What is the, what is the schedule for the next uh, 10 days? Uh? Uh, now uh, we, we have uh, off till Thursday and Thursday we start practicing. You have, well, you have three players going to the national team of Belgium. That's, uh, that's a listen. Uh, for, for, I think it's always nice when uh, when a players can play for their for their country, and especially I think okay, Robbie was already in the team. Jean Marc is there for years, 
And also, I think it's a big, big step for TACE. Nick, top three, please. After the two losses against Austin, uh, are you satisfied uh, with the reaction of your team? Oh, for today, today was very important just to win, you know, because uh, we now secured second position. And this is that somebody told us that we will be second, let's say, two, three months ago, then uh, we would accept it right away. So game was, uh, we knew that uh, that is not going to be an easy game. We know that we are playing against a good, very good team, uh, although they had a problem with injuries. But these players who were playing against us, you could see today that uh, they are capable to make a shot. And they are a good team, they are playing uh, very well. Uh, so for us, uh, we had only one goal, to win. And it's not always easy when you have to win. Uh, it's not easy to win. So I'm satisfied at the end with the result. Now we have to look forward. We have to see what we did, uh, what was not good against Ostend, uh, what was not good today, and to prepare for, uh, for a Golden League. Um, Bradford, Stein, Dizio. Bradford, Stein, Movema. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, coach. Good luck. Good luck.